Inside Gaming is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Don't let your internet provider see all the sites you visit. Hide your browsing activity at expressvpn.com slash inside. The original Titanfall is no longer available for sale on digital storefronts, and it's going to be delisted from subscription services like Xbox Game Pass and EA Play next year on March 1st. The announcement came from Respawn Entertainment's official Twitter account, which explained that despite being the studio's first game and core to its DNA, Respawn has made the decision to discontinue any new sales of Titanfall 1. No other details were shared other than a sort of backhanded farewell, which reads, Rest assured, this incredible universe will continue today in Titanfall 2 and Apex Legends legends and in the future. Even though the original Titanfall didn't exactly set the world on fire sales-wise, it doesn't have a single player campaign, and the average number of players over the last 30 days on Steam charts is a whopping 5.6, it does feel a little odd and maybe even a little mean-spirited for Respawn to remove the game from storefronts in this way, especially without giving players one last chance to add it to their digital collections for posterity, sentimental value, or, you know, just to have. On the other hand, according to numerous reports over the last few years, both Titanfall games have been having serious issues with hackers and DDoS attacks since at least 2019. Some updates and patches were supposed to drop this year to alleviate the issues, but a real meaningful fix never materialized. Eventually, it came to light by way of Respawn's community coordinator, Jason Garza, that only one or two people were still working on support for Titanfall since everyone else at the studio is pretty much dedicated to Apex Legends or other unannounced projects. So ultimately, it makes sense that Respawn wouldn't want to dedicate any amount of resources to supporting a seven-year-old game with substantial security flaws that hardly anyone is playing, but the weird thing is, the official announcement delisting Titanfall also said Respawn would be keeping the game's service live, which would require some amount of resources and support, since that's where all the issues are. So of course, one has to wonder just how much longer Respawn and EA will maintain servers for Titanfall 1 and even Titanfall 2 at this point, but if you want to be a little more optimistic about it, the delisting could indicate a new Titanfall project is on the way. You know, similar to how Rockstar delisted all the older GTA games before releasing the definitive edition of the GTA trilogy. What could go wrong? Unfortunately, considering how many times Respawn has officially said they haven't started working on Titanfall 3 and they don't know exactly what's next for the franchise, a new Titanfall game or even just standalone multiplayer probably isn't in the cards anytime soon. On the upside, at least there's a pretty good chance Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 2 is well into development. Anyways, let us know in the comments if you're bummed about the original Titanfall getting dropped forever. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.